I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network here at FedEx Forum where the Tigers took to their brand new court and took down Christian Brothers 92-63 to in their final exhibition game of the preseason. In the first half, the Tigers jumped out to an early 8-3 lead in the first four minutes and never trailed. Memphis increased its lead to 17-7 before a 14-6 Christian Brothers run cut the Tigers' advantage to 23-21 with 8.05 remaining in the first half. But the Tigers finished the first half with a 20-10 spurt for a 47-35 halftime advantage. In the second half, Memphis was unable to shake the Buccaneers early in the half. Although the lead never fell below double digits, Christian Brothers stayed within striking distance as they cut the Memphis lead to 10 points on two occasions. Memphis held a 59-47 lead with 11-29 left but closed the contest with a 33-16 run to pull away for the victory. Freshman Austin Nichols helped start the Tigers' spurt with four quick points and a Damian Wilson dunk with 7.49 left close out the run that doubled the Memphis lead from 12 points to 24, putting the Tigers up 73-49. Senior Michael Dixon Jr. scored a game-high 18 points and freshman Nick King posted a double-double with 12 points and 10 boards to lift the Tigers to the 92-63 win. Freshman Dominic Wilson netted 14 points and senior Jaron Johnson added 11. Freshman Karan Iverson was the Tigers' second leading rebounder with six boards. We talked to the players and head coach Josh Passner after the game. Um, this game was about the team and um, more importantly about um, the freshmen on the court and um, you know newcomers. We're trying to get a feel for them and um, let them get chemistry involved with the team and how it goes. And always can get better at anything you do. We got strengths, we got weaknesses. We're trying to get better at both of them. Um, we came together as a team. We came together as a team. We was talking to each other, huddling up, getting a better feel for each other and we was just work, we worked extra hard because after we watched the Baylor film we realized that we wasn't, we, we didn't play as well as we thought we did. The best talent never wins. It's always the best teams. And I mean, whether those teams have a lot of talent or not is up in the air, but it's always the teams that play together. And I think that that's something that Coach Pastor and the staff stresses every day and something that we try to get out of each other is being a team and playing together. Um, you know, uh, I felt there were some positives. Obviously, I felt our press was good. It kind of warmed down toward in, the, in the second half. Um, but we got to make free throws. We got to make three-point shots. And we're a good shooting team. So it's just going to be within time. We got to keep working at it. Um, you know, I, I felt first half defensively in the post. Um, uh, number 33, City Saul, really, you know, really hurt us. Um, but then we were better the second half. I was really proud of those inside guys giving us the contribution that they gave us. So, um, but Thursday we open up for real against Austin P. There, I mean, I've watched tape on them. I mean, this is a good basketball team. And they've got good players. They are very, very well coached. I mean, when you have a, when your name's on the court, like Dave Luce's name's on the court, you know what you're doing. And I mean, he might have six or seven hundred wins, um, but this is a well coached team with good guys. And we're gonna have to be, bring our A game on Thursday. And that's our only focus right now is getting ready for Thursday.